He's Chilly and cloudy out there, right? And, and it has that look, like yes, it, it may it rain any minute. Uh, we're probably not going to see any rain today. today. may see some tonight, okay. uh, but our rain chances are still pretty low. But it's certainly, it's cool out there and it is cloudy. You look at all the various cameras and every spot showing the cloudy skies. Uh, even though we're still cool, we are we're warmer than we were yesterday. We started out on the chilly side, uh, right around the 48 degrees here in Tampa this morning. Look at the climate data for January. These are the high temperatures so far this month, and, and we've had a lot of blue on this map, uh, on this calendar, because uh, we're just seeing a lot of this cool air just kind of sitting over us. And signs are, as we head into next week, we are going to start to change that. We've also had some decent rainfall in here, which is, is a nice bonus. So here's lows this morning, 48 degrees here in Tampa, 45 in uh, Newport Ritchie. Still had some 30s to our north with Crystal River all the way down to 36 degrees this morning. Loads of cloud cover working its way right Right over the top of us and that that acts to keep temperatures a little cooler but through the overnight hours it helps because it, it acts like a blanket it doesn't allow these temperatures to get as cold we will continue with these clouds for today into tomorrow as well and here's a, the current temperature 66 degrees here in tampa uh, 63 in crystal river we are seeing some 70s down to our south and then some upper 70s down in the miami 78 degrees key west at 77 is still pretty chilly but uh, a big improvement uh, across the northern part of the state because over the past 24 hours you can see how much warmer it is most areas running uh, say 10 12 15 some cases up to about 21 degrees warmer Warmer compared to this time yesterday. So have that front down to our south. See maybe a couple little showers trying to develop into the Gulf of Mexico and then just more of this cloud cover streaming across the Gulf of Mexico. It's that same pattern that we've been talking about that active jet stream just helping to produce all these clouds across the Gulf. But we're really starting to focus our attention on that next cold front that's heading in our direction. You see the snow moving through the upper Midwest and notice the direction is diving down to the south. That is that developing trough, and that is going to drive that much colder air in our direction as we go through the weekend. So for today, it's just a lot of cloudy skies. It, it's cool outside. It has that look like it wants to rain. Probably not going to see any rain until later on this evening. We'll see a few scattered showers. Then here comes the front for tomorrow. We'll get some showers with that front. That front quickly pushes through, clears out the skies, and that is what is going to push in that much colder air as we head into the weekend. So for today, we see these temperatures in the 60s and the 70s. And then for tonight, not quite as cold around. We'll see 50s and 60s, mainly cloudy skies, maybe a couple of showers mixed in there as well. So we drop those temperatures through the weekend, but you see what happens next week. Signs are we're really gonna start to warm those temperatures back up. In fact, next week, we could be pushing close to 80 degrees for daytime highs. For today, though, it's mainly cloudy skies, low, uh, daytime high at 68 degrees. Then for tonight, that overnight low of 60 with a few scattered showers. Tomorrow, we warm things up. Mainly cloudy skies, daytime high at 72 degrees. On the water today, winds are out of the northeast at 5 to 10 knots, seas 2 feet, light chop on the bays, high tide comes up at 719. Big warm up over the next day or so, and then a big drop in those temperatures. Gasparilla, children's Gasparilla, looks like a chilly one with a daytime high of 58, 36 degrees on Sunday morning, and then we start to have big warm up next week, Linda. Now,